Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Reagan, and this is my channel, Ray Ray Reads. And today I'm going to be starting the fourth Harry Potter book. Yeah. For those of you that don't know already, I am reading the whole Harry Potter series for the first time ever and I'm vlogging my experience. So this is the fourth Harry Potter reading vlog. I am starting Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Boy, this is a freaking hunker. I mean, this is like, look at it in comparison to my head. This is like half the size of my freaking head. What? This book is so heavy, I literally can't hold it up for longer than I already have. Like, I'm already out of breath. I'm so tired. This thing is so heavy. Oh my god. So, I'm a little nervous about this one. Let's see how many pages there are. Oh my gosh. So, there are 734 pages. That is freaking scary. Um... That's a lot of freaking pages. I'm a little nervous about this one, but I've heard from many people that this is their favorite book and out of like all of them. And obviously everyone's gonna say that about every different book in the series, but I've heard that from quite a few people about this book. So I'm really, really excited to start this one. I think I'm gonna start today. Um, I don't know how much actual reading I'll get done, but this is the start of Goblet of Fire, so I'm super excited. Um, going into it, I literally have no idea what's gonna happen. I don't know the storyline, never seen the movie, never read the book, never heard anything about this book. The only thing I do know about the movie is that Robert Patterson, I think his name is, Edward Cullen from Twilight, he is in this movie, I'm pretty sure, or he's in one of these movies, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. So anyways, I'm really excited to start that today. I think I'm going with my sister. We're going to go shopping for a little bit. And if her pool is open, then we'll go to the pool at the apartment. And maybe I'll get some reading done there. But last I heard somebody brought glass into the pool and it broke. So they have to drain the pool and all that. So I don't know if we'll be able to go to the pool. But hopefully we can and I can get some more reading done. Or some reading done. I haven't even started. So yeah. That is the beginning of my vlog, so yay! Hey guys, so it has been quite a few days now. Um, I started the Goblet of Fire and I am just a little bit of the ways into it, but um, it took me a little bit longer to get started and because I was nannying, I could only read like 15 pages a day when I got home before I passed out because I was so tired. But anyways, um, I am thoroughly enjoying this one. I will get into it a little bit later. I am on my way home now and I have pretty much like the rest of the afternoon to get some reading done and so I'm really excited to get some more reading done. So I will keep you guys updated on what I'm thinking, how I'm feeling about the book. Um, so far it's good. The beginning, I don't know, everyone says this beginning is really good because it's different than all the others but I just like want to get to Hogwarts, you know what I mean? Like that's what I love about these books is them being at Hogwarts together and you know like we're a hundred something pages in and we're not at Hogwarts yet so I'm ready for them to get to Hogwarts because that's just what I love to read about like all the different classes and like all the kids like insulting each other like that's what I live for so anyways um I am gonna get home and do some more reading and I'll keep you guys updated on what I'm thinking so yeah I'll catch you guys in a minute So it is later in the day. Actually, it's not day anymore. It is 10.45 at night. But I just got home and I'm about to do some more reading. Today I got to page 280 and we just found out that there is a fourth champion in the goblet, or no, in the uh, Triwizard Tournament. And I will not spoil who it is, but for those of you that have read, you know who it is. So. They're trying to figure out why this person was put into the Goblet of Fire and how. So anyways, I'm going to do some reading. I am enjoying the book 20 million times better now that they're at Hogwarts. It was like 180 pages until they were actually at Hogwarts, which like was just such a long beginning. And I like reading about Quidditch, but I don't think I liked it at the beginning because it was about players that I didn't know and it wasn't like I was watching Harry play Quidditch. So anyways, 
I did not love the beginning. I think just because it dragged out so long until they were at Hogwarts and I just like wanted them to be at Hogwarts so bad. So there's that. I'm about to change into my pajamas and start reading and see how much I can read tonight because I get to sleep in tomorrow. So hopefully I can get a good bit of reading done tonight. So I'm gonna go do some of that. Hey guys, so it is Saturday and it is like four o'clock. Um, I just got home, I had lunch with a friend and ran some errands, but I'm home now and so I'm about to do some more reading. Last night I got to page 327 and I'm excited to read some more. So I really don't remember the last thing I updated you on, but currently Ron and Harry are not good and I don't really enjoy that. Ron and Harry are in a argument or a fight and I think they're both kind of wrong. Um, they're both kind of children, so like that makes sense. But I don't know, I just, I feel bad for Ron because like he always gets the short end of the stick, he never gets attention. You know, he has to fight for attention between his like freaking 25 siblings for his parents' attention. He doesn't have a lot of money. And I don't know, I, Ron just like has a special place in my heart and I just love him. And it really hurts my heart that like, he doesn't get the attention that he deserves. And his best friend is literally the most famous person in the wizarding world and is like super rich. And so it just sucks because like he's probably constantly comparing himself to Harry and like all the attention he gets and all the money he has and all the nice things he has and like the way the Dumbledore like specifically knows him and like talks to him on the regular like I don't know I just I really feel I really feel for Ron um and Harry's kind of being a jerk about it like I understand though that like Ron didn't believe him and so like I don't know but at the same time Ron probably did believe him he was just jealous because Harry's got another thing that puts him in the limelight I don't know I could be ranting but I just I don't know but Harry and Ron just need to make up because I don't like it when they fight I really don't so anyways I'm gonna go do some reading I will keep you guys updated on Harry and Ron's friendship. Hey friends, so I am on my way to Griffin's house. Um, it is Sunday afternoon. Last night I got to like page, I don't even know, like 5.30 of Gobble to Fire. And so I'm about to go inside Griffin's and read a little bit more, but I am close to finishing this bad boy. Um, my, let me show you guys. I only have this little bit left and then I'm done. I'm really, really enjoying this book. Um, probably way better than like all the other ones. I just, I think I had a rough start just because I either A, wasn't in the mood for it or B, um, they just weren't at school for so long. And I think I said earlier that like, I just love when they're at school and I just like, I don't know, the story is just so much better when they're at school and you know, you see Dumbledore and Snape and like all of these different characters. I just love when they're at school. So I think that was why it was hard for me to get into it. But now that I'm into it, I'm so into it. So with that being said, I'm about to go inside and read some more. I really want to try to finish this book today. I don't know if that's possible, but maybe tomorrow night. Um, I'm not totally sure. I nanny again this week but it's my last week to nanny so and then I have a week to read a little bit before I start school so I'm hoping to finish this book this week and yeah but it's super good so I'm gonna go inside and read some and I'll keep you guys updated hey guys so it is Monday and it is five o'clock I just got off from nannying and I am trying to make some dinner try not to blow up the house um, I have this chicken and the microwave defrosting and it's in like the package it came in and I'm scared I'm gonna freaking melt the plastic that it came in. I really don't think I can do this, but I couldn't get it out, so I have to. Anyways, so I did not even read a, even a little bit yesterday of Harry Potter. I still have like 150 pages left. So I really, really, really wanna finish it tonight. I don't know why I shouldn't. Um, it's 5.30 and I have nothing else to do tonight, but a friend may or may not come over, so I don't really know. But my goal is to finish it tonight, but I also need to edit a video and get it posting um, or uploading. So yeah, that's kind of my plans for today. But if I do some reading, I'll let you guys know and keep you updated. As of right now, everything's good. Um, Harry just went into the Pensieve, Pens, I don't even know what that thing's called or how to say it. I probably sound so dumb because I've never seen the movies. So like I really don't know how like a lot of things are pronounced, but 
anyways, he went into the little pensive, pensive thing um, and saw the memories of Dumbledore and that was super cool. I'm really excited to see how the movie portrays that. So anyways, I'm really excited to keep reading. I feel like it's just going to keep getting better and better and better as the story goes on. So um, Harry's talking to Dumbledore right now. So I'm really excited to jump back into the book and to find out like what's going to happen. So anyways, those are my plans for the night. I'm about to cook some dinner. Hopefully not burn the house down or melt any plastic in the process. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in a minute. I am almost done, you guys. <sighs> Let's do this. It's 1047 and I'm finishing this book tonight. Doggone it, I'm finishing this book tonight. The Weasley. Sorry. <laughs> the Weasley showed up as Harry's parents. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. That is so precious. The Weasleys are freaking rock. <sighs> so, we killing people now? JK Rowling. Okay. She just killed off a character. Wow. This is not a children's book anymore. The ending of this book is literally insane. I'm shook right now. This is like a whole different book. This is a whole different series. This is a whole different author. I don't know who she is or what's going on right now, but this is insane. Voldemort is about to fight Harry Potter. He's literally untying him and giving him his wand. This is insane. This is so intense. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, I finished. I cried. I have a lot to say, but I just, it's like 2 a.m. and I need to sleep on it. So I'll update you guys in the morning and tell you my thoughts. Hi guys, so it is t Tuesday and I finished Goblet of Fire last night. As you can see from my little freak outs, uh, I wanted to wait until I could really properly talk like loud enough. Last night, it was like 2 a.m. when I finished and I didn't want to wake up my roommates. So I hate filming in the car because people are always just like walking or driving by. But anyways, this book was phenomenal. Uh, literally the first three books don't even compare. Combined, they're not even as good as this book was. This, I don't even understand how a book could possibly top this one, any of the other Harry Potter books. Like, this one was incredible. And I've literally said that about every single book that I've read from the Harry Potter series. Like, every time I finish a new one, I'm like, oh my god, this is incredible. It's so much better than the last one. But this is, like, legit. It literally feels like it was written by somebody else. Like, the everything about it was significantly different. It was better. It was darker. It was deeper. It was longer it was it was everything i needed um the only downside i did not enjoy to this book was the beginning i had a very very slow start it took me so long to get through the first 200 pages because i don't like it when they're not at school i can't get into like the plot and i don't know i just love when they're at the school because like there's dumbledore and there's snape and there's like all these characters malfoy crab and goyle like all these different influences and all these different things are going on while they're at school and I think I just don't love that about the beginning of the book that for the first 200 pages they're not at school even though the, the beginning was interesting they just weren't at school and I just like wasn't feeling it so that is the only downside but the ending are you kidding me holy crap freaking amazing oh my gosh I mean we got people cutting their arms off we got people dying we got people fighting with wands like what is this this is like not a children's book anymore this is not i would be horrified if i was a kid reading this 
Oh my gosh. Anyways, I have a couple things I wanted to talk about um, that I loved about the ending of this. So first of all, the ending of this book uh, had a lot to do with Snape. Well, it didn't have a lot to do with Snape, but he was included in like a good bit of it. And I'm kind of here for it. Uh, in my last few vlogs, I said that I didn't know if Snape could ever be redeemed, but Dumbledore just talked very frequently towards the end of the book about how much he trusts Snape and like how much he is truly like 100% positive that Snape is not a Death Eater and for that reason I just trust Dumbledore so I'm like okay Snape has to have some redeeming quality he has to have done something good once upon a time and so I'm really excited to learn more about that hopefully in the next book I think next book is gonna talk a little bit more about Snape and I'm pretty sure he's gonna like be like a spy for Dumbledore and spy on uh, Voldemort. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I definitely cried at the end of this book. Uh, in the third book, I cried at the end because it was just so sweet and happy and made my heart like so happy and I cried tears of joy. But at the end of this one, I legit cried um, at the very end uh, when somebody dies. I'm not going to spoil even though literally everyone and their mom has read this book. But someone dies at the end and Dumbledore like honors them at the like final feast and he just like hangs these like black drapes and like I I literally was crying when he was like raise a glass to blank um to like honor this person and i was like crying so hard i was so crying so hard i cried a lot um also i loved that dobby was in this book so much more uh he was not in the last book and i really hated that and i just love him he is the sweetest thing ever there was a line where i actually started tearing up um when dobby was like okay so ron gives him like this sweater for christmas and and dumb and Dobby's like, Ron, I knew that you were, you know, a great person because you are a great wizard because you are Harry Potter's best friend. But now I know that you're like compassionate and you're loving and you're kind and you're generous. And I was like, Ooh! I just, that really made my heart swell because Ron needed that and he he's needed that this whole book. So anyways, there's so much I could literally go on and on and on and on about the ending of this book and about this book in general, but I will say this is my absolute favorite one. Killer. I mean, I don't even know how anything can top this. I'm so excited to watch the movie. I'm excited. I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm excited to read the fifth one. I'm so ready, but I'm going to put it on hold and wait until next month so that I can read some other things this month. But anyways, those are my final thoughts on The Goblet of Fire. I loved it. It was amazing. Five stars, of course. Uh, amazing book. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, that is all I have to say or else I'm gonna rant all day long about how good this book is. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. She's Bye. Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something better.